Assessment is a key pillar in teaching and learning. Thus, there is a general understanding that we must uphold the best practices in educational assessment by interrogating the weakness of the assessment in our respective countries and coming up with right solutions to these challenges. <clears throat> must also appreciate that challenges still emerge with the advancement of technology, and we must openly deliver it on the best ways to ensure that no learner is left behind on account of assessment. It is our hope the deliberations on the enhancement of technical, vocational, and occupational assessment, including recognition of prior learning, will shape the policy dialogues as we strive to ensure that our TVET graduates are consistent with the needs of our countries and the needs of industry in our countries. Sitting here today with the kurus of uh, assessment, then we start asking ourselves, how do we assess the talent that goes beyond the classroom? And uh, how, do we, how are we able to translate that to something that they can be able to put on their hands? Are we able to see it as prior knowledge? Not so long a distance from today, they'll be sitting for various examinations. And you know, it will be so unfortunate when we say they have not passed their examinations, because we shall not be assessing them for what they can be able to give. We shall not be nurturing their talent. And we shall be leaving somebody behind. Yet we are trying not to leave anybody behind. We should be asking ourselves, going forward, how shall we be able to have a fair assessment of everybody, including the talent that is in it in so many of our people? These are things that, as we move forward, we must be able to rethink. And I'm very happy uh, on the theme that we are going to have as we go to the 40th uh, conference that we need to reimagine and it is real that we need to reimagine because we have to move away from certain practices that we may have been doing in the past. We have no two ways but to work together as an African continent. It is in your community today that we have to develop common standards of assessment. Not so long ago, quite a number of our teachers were in seashells. We have quite a number of our teachers today in Somaliland, in Somalia. We have quite a number of our teachers across the world. And as they teach and do assessments, what are the standards that they are looking at? Are they able to meet and practice the standards of where they have been put into. So I think it is so important for us to take and move forward with the resolution among which was developing common standards.